Alrighty, so today we're going to look at the older style fuse box and how they were wired. Here in the country I was born in, we use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, fair or green is the ground, and also uh, red and blue are live colors. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so we're going to be simulating a uh, shared neutral split circuit here. So this is the older wire without a ground, so I'll show you how that would be hooked up into the fuse box. And uh, rip away the uh, outer jacket here. Clear away all this debris. Okay, so we will take and put our white wire down here on the neutral bar, so we will uh, bring this back a little bit. We loosen up our Romex connectors, we bring the jacket into the box not too far, so it's like like a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch into the box. Okay, so we can uh, fold this wire down to the back here. Bring it back up, and we will put it around the uh, neutral bar screw up here. Okay, we'll open our loop up a little bit bigger here. Well, that screw is tight. I had it just right on the screw. So now we'll put our black wire over here on the uh, fuse here. All right, that screw just opened enough to get those wire that under the head and tighten down. I only had to turn it slightly to get it tight. This one just tucks under the screw head here, like that, or I prefer I could get it under the side over here. I was meant to go over on this side. So there's a little slot in there. But it looks like it's going to be better on this side because the screw is turning up and it's staying under the head of the screw there. Okay, now we have a shared neutral split circuit wire here. So 
So we'll just take this jacket off. I'll just cut down through the jacket of the wire here. All the debris. These uh, shared neutral split circuits are very common in kitchens. Like the top half of the outlet would be all on the red and all the bottom halves of all the outlets would be on the black. That is very common to find in a kitchen. So we uh, strip a little bit off of our black wire and white wire. We're going to put around the screw. The red wire we're going to put under the fuse. So we have to put them on the opposite legs of the 240. So you'll look at this chart here. You'll see this is on one leg of the 240 and this one's on the other leg of the 240. So we will put one red wire over here. So I'll bring this up so that we can get to hook the uh, white and the ground to the ground bar here. We have a washer here. It's like a lock washer. That will help so it will make it better to put two wires around one screw. So I would take and put my ground wire in the back. Push this washer back. Now I'm going to strip this white wire a little longer. So I'll make my loop the direction that the screw turns. that loop the direction that the screw turns. And tighten it up. Real tight. And now we'll put our black on the uh, other fuse here. And this is on the other leg of the 240.
So you have 240 volts coming into the house, 120, 120, 240, the neutral. And then this is your ground that goes to the cold water pipe. Alrighty, this is your multimeter here. I put this on 500 volts because the one below it is 200 and there's 220, 240 coming into the house. So I'll take my meter, go to this red and black. It'll show 240 volts. I'll check the red to the ground and the neutral. That's 120. Again, over here, this is 120. So that is how uh, 120, 240 is split up when it comes into the house. This green wire goes to your cold water pipe or a grounding rod. So that is the ground for your service. There's the uh, ground wire I was talking about. The clamps are under the uh, foam insulation. Most generally, the orange fuses are 20 amps, and the blue is uh, 15 amps, and green would be a 30 amp. Okay, so these 12, this two shared neutrals, or the two shared circuits sharing the neutral, get a 20 amp fuse, because that's number 12 wire, and you have to make sure they're on opposite load sides of the 240, so you don't overload the neutral. And... Uh, this one is a 14 gauge wire, and that would get a 15 amp fuse. Alrighty, so uh, thanks for watching. That is how your uh, older 60 amp fuse box and electric service worked back in like the uh, late 40s, 50s, and into the early 60s here in the country I was born in. Peace. Thanks for watching.